screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencast, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at how to insert link in a Revit model into another Revit model. Here I am in Revit with a site plan already open and I'd like to insert a building link in a Revit model. So I click the insert tab of the ribbon, link panel, click link Revit. The import link Revit dialog box will pop open and it will ask me to select the file that I want to work with. I can go ahead and I can pick the file that I want, single click, so you can verify the name of the file the file type and how you're placing it. Now if you're just placing one building for the purposes of coordination against other Revit models you may want to choose automatic origin to origin. In this example however I'm going to be placing multiple buildings and in multiple locations so I'm going to be placing it at automatic center to center because I'm going to move it anyway. I click open and the Revit model building will be linked into this particular site plan Revit model. I select the model after the fact and I can go ahead and move it where I need to move it. So I'll just place it here for now. If we open up the visibility dialog box, graphics dialog box by going to the view tab of the ribbon and picking visibility graphics or typing in VV or BG, your dialog box will pop open. We can click Revit links and in here it will show you the townhouse and it will also give you a default name. If we select that linked file, we can see it has a name here. We can go ahead and change it to whatever we want. If we take this building and we copy it, we can copy it to other locations. And now if we take a look at the copied instances, they'll be named differently. So there's B and there's C. If we open up the visibility dialog box again and go to Revit links, if we expand the Revit file, you will now see three buildings. And the reason we set this up and the way Revit is set up this way is so that you can actually change how each of the models are being displayed uh, independently of each other. So if you click inside here, you can choose to override the settings however you need to modify the settings for each one. And that's how you insert or link in a Revit model into another Revit model. Thank you for watching my screencast. I hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.